Now, though, time for John's ugly veg broth. <laughs> it is time for the ugly veg broth, but it's, it's nice. It's not ugly. The veg are ugly, but the, the flavour of this broth is gorgeous. But the, the focus point is this wonky ugly veg. I prefer to call it wonky because I don't <laughs> think any veg should be called ugly. I mean, no, you've got a parsnip there with two legs on it. What's wrong with that? They used to be the stars of That's Life, ugly veg, and now they've been... <laughs> dumped on hit scrap heaps but everywhere. It, that's the, the annoying thing. There are uh, over 20 million tonnes worth of food thrown away in, the, in this country a year. 200,000 ton of those tonnes are from supermarkets. So it's good that supermarkets are getting involved and starting to sell this wonky veg. Mm. Um, in this pan here, to make this ugly, sh ugly stew, <laughs> I've got my uh, onions and leeks. I'm using both onion and leek because they were both Ooh, in the lovely. veg box. So I thought, why not? Yeah. I've sweated those down for about 20 minutes with a pinch of salt and pepper. Just get them nice and caramelised, get the flavours out of there. And once they go really soft, as you can see, they're lovely and not coloured, but translucently mm. uh, sort of... And very flavoursome. Very flavoursome, very sweet. All those natural sugars, that's when they're ready. So I'm going to add to that the other ingredients. So some tomato puree. And I use the double concentrate stuff because obviously it gives a bit more flavour and you need to use a little bit less. Some fresh herbs, so some broadleaf thyme because it's easier to, do, to work with. Mm. And uh, some a bay leaf. And then for a bit more interesting flavour, to make it more springy, because obviously we're, not, we're, we're out of the hearty winter stew time yeah. now. We're in, in, the age, well, in the time of, of spring. spring. So yeah. a little bit of lemon zest. And if you don't like lemon, you could use orange. Orange with star anise works really well in this. But I love lemon with the the veg that I'm using. Mm. Um, I'm going to put a garlic clove in that. I don't bother to peel it. Uh, I, no, I do peel it, sorry, but it I don't It mushes up anyway, doesn't it? Mushes it mushes up and yeah. it sweetens, so you don't need to actually cut it and mince it. So just mm. chuck that in. This is Along easy with, too. Oh, it's, it's just a one-pot wonder, this, yeah. Fiona. <laughs> in with some pearl barley. Oh. You could use pasta if you're not got... Oh, rice would be fine. Mm. That's the thing. Depending on what you get in your wonky veg box, you might not have the parsnips and carrots, which I'm going to use. So just use whatever you get. Just yeah. chuck it in. So chuck all of that in. And then into that, I'm going to add some stock. I've got uh, vegetable stock here, but you could use chicken stock, which would be um, a bit more flavorful. But the vegetable stock gives a really lovely, light, springy mm. uh, flavor, so it's perfect for that. So in with the veg stock. And all I'm going to do is just bring that to a simmer, bring it to a boil, then return it down to a simmer, season it a bit, and then put a lid on and cook it down for about an hour. So okay. just simmer it very gently. And the lid, I'm not going to put the lid on completely because it might swell up and, and go over the top. Just put the lid sort of partially on the pan. Yeah. And that'll make sure the vegetables soften very, very quickly and leave that for about an hour. Mm. Just until the, the carrots and the parsnips are toothsome but not, not crunchy, just mm. a bit of a bite to them. And then when they are nice and soft, Ooh. I'm going to add to that, which I have done already here, some uh, frozen peas defrosted and some asparagus, because that's still in Ooh, season right now. Nice. So just chuck a bit of asparagus in there. So I'm going to let you, uh, let you taste that, and then I'm going to rummage through my veg box and show you what's in there, because it's interesting to see the sort of stuff that people throw away. And part of the problem, really, I've given you a hearty portion Look how there, pretty that looks as it's well. It's beautiful, isn't it? And it is hearty. Verdant. There's so many vitamins in there. There's oh. fibre. There's The barley's got protein oh, in it's, it. Oh, it's full of and goodness. Yeah, it really gorgeous. is. And you could use can, cans of beans. If you've got cans of cannellini beans or whatever, just drain them and chuck them in in place of the barley. But what's interesting is the state of, of the, the vegetable isn't that bad, you know. Look at this onion. Well, you peel that off You peel anyway. it off, a bit of black skin, it's nothing. There's yeah. a leek here with a kink in it. I mean, most leeks have got a kink in them, haven't they, let's face it. So what's wrong with a kinky leek? I wouldn't so even know that there was anything wrong ridiculous. with that. It's ridiculous. crazy. And if you go abroad to France or Spain, wherever, and you go to a greengrocer's, mm. that's normal, isn't it, to see mm. that, that sort of stuff. So I'm glad that we're starting to normalise ugly, wonky veg. That is so delicious. The lemon really sets it off. It lifts it, doesn't it? Ooh, Ooh. lovely. Ooh, it's yeah, easy, it? cheap, nutritious. Exactly. Mm. And that's just John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cheap. Oh, I'm doing it right. No, not cheap. Maybe <laughs> not the cheap bit.